Welcome to 2025 Paris Air Show, one of the world's biggest aerospace showcases. Welcome back to JD's Expeditions. Today I'm heading to France and the French TGV trains made this trip incredibly easy, traveling at a speed over 300 km per hour. It carried me across borders directly into the heart of Paris. We made it to Paris to see the last day of the Paris Air Show 2025. As some of you may know, I'm an aviator myself, and this event is the most epic event for aviation. After waiting for several minutes in the queue to get through the security, we made it inside the hall. Hundreds of aerospace companies present their latest innovation, from next generation airliners to spacecraft satellites, drone, and defense systems. This drone looks amazing. And beside it, we have what? A miniature satellite. Check this out. It looks quite small for a satellite. And of course, there are several companies involved in the manufacturing of uh, aircraft and aerospace structures. On the last day, there are not actually many companies that are still showcasing their technologies. You can simply uh, have a look, walk around, but probably there are not as many employees of these companies still around to give you some introduction. Nonetheless, we managed to talk to a few uh, exhibitors uh, talk about their technologies and they are always interested to give you like an overview. This is just one hall and there are several other halls of aerospace companies. Here big names like Airbus, Boeing, RTX and many others show off their latest technologies. Outside is where it gets even more exciting. The static displays let you get up close to some of the world's most impressive aircraft. For example, like this Pipistrel aircraft. It has an endurance of 24 hours. Can you imagine? People jumping in parachute from a transport aircraft. Incredible. This is indeed an epic display of a show for the last day of the Paris Air Show. Meanwhile, on the ground we have the Dorsal Trafal, France's Montreal combat jet, known for its agility and versatility in both air to air and air to ground missions. And here we have military personnel from the France Air and Space Force who are here to explain a little bit of the aircraft so people could queue here if you wait long enough and you could get a chance to talk to them. Meanwhile, those guys in the parachutes are still descending. Look at this show. Descending spiral moves. Lafal is a twin engine aircraft and if you get look closely underneath the wings you will see all the kind of missiles and ammunition that it carries. Mm -hmm. 
right beside the Rafale we have Airbus H160M called Gepar or Cheetah. A new generation light military helicopter for the French armed forces. The Shark 912IS is a lightweight sport aircraft built for fuel efficiency and personal aviation fun. Look at this acrobatic aircraft. It does maneuvers you have never seen. It looks like it's like losing control, almost crashing, only to get close to the ground and it lifts up again. Very incredible performance. Leonardo presented its integrated air defense system featuring radar units, mobile launcher trucks, and communication vehicles, all designed for rapid battlefield deployment. And of course, we have pilot training aircraft and some old aircraft models. Here, not only the manufacturers of aircraft are showcasing, but also the component manufacturers are showcasing their technologies. Blue Spirit Aero aims to bring zero emission flying into reality using hydrogen powered propulsion for short range flights. And this Ihang aircraft from China is designed for fully autonomous electric air taxi, part of the future urban air mobility. MBDA presented an array of advanced missile systems, including the famous Storm Shadow, a long range cruise missile. And here it is the legendary Airbus A380 the largest passenger aircraft ever built, capable of carrying over 850 passengers in full economy. Here is a rare sight, the Super Mirage 4000, an experimental heavy fight from the 70s that never entered the service but remained a fascinating prototype. The 
Boeing 747, often called the Queen of the Skies, instantly recognizable by its upper deck hump. Here is a glimpse of Europe's space exploration technology. Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II one of the most advanced stealth fighters today, combining cutting-edge sensors, speed, and radar evading design. Combat helicopters showcase their incredible maneuverability, rapid turns, hovering precision, and raw aero power that make them crucial for battlefield support. Business jet through graceful demonstration patterns, showing off their sleek design and impressive raw speed handling. The Airbus 350-1000, with its beautiful wing flex, ultra-efficient Rolls-Royce engine, representing Airbus long-haul future. Now. The Rafale returned to its breathtaking solo flight demo. Its tight turns, vertical climbs, and high G maneuvers are always a highlight. Few aircraft combine elegance and aggression like the Rafale in full display mode. As planes rolled overhead, every pass brought a new opportunity to witness the power and the elegance of aviation design. The roar, the vapor trails, the perfect turns, all a reminder of just how far aviation technology has advanced. The Paris Air Show 2025, one day packed with innovation, history, and thrilling flight demonstration, absolutely worth every minute. If you enjoyed this tour, like the video, subscribe for more travel adventures, and let me know in the comment section which aircraft impressed you the most. Il y a un restaurant gravé, il y a un moment, Pierre Lecon.